Hey, this is Jack coming at you from Austin, Texas with another tutorial. Today we're doing Amy Kit XE. Yes, I know, I know, I have not done a tutorial in a while. Shame on me, I've been so wrapped up with Pints and Amiga Game Night. And if you're not a fan of that channel and you're a fan of my tutorials, please go search for Pints and Amiga Game Night. We live stream every Saturday at 2 p.m. We stream classic Amiga games on real hardware. Well, today I'm going to give you a tutorial on Amy Kit XE. Fantastic piece of software. Gets more and more streamlined. If you've not downloaded it, go download it today. Pick a package that suits your budget and your needs. I got the Crystal USB package as a birthday present from my son. It's it's amazing. The, the Crystal USB, the USB drive, you can plug it into any system that can be bootable off a of USB and boot right into an Amiga environment that you customize and tailor of your own. Pull it out, reset the machine, and it's back like it's never been touched. So, let's check it out. Let's start the install. All right, I've already downloaded all of my Amy Kit files, and if you get uh, just just the simple package uh, for Windows, you'll get something like this. Uh, you'll get this Amy Kit XE setup directory. If you want it for other things, like I have Linux, uh, the FlowerPot install, FlowerPot for Linux. That means you can install Amiga OS 4.1 Final Edition on your Windows machine with the FlowerPot simple setup but the main focus of this tutorial is windows so if you're running windows 10 windows 8 windows 7 you should be able to execute this and install it without any problems so let's get things going let's go ahead and set this up double click on your executable you'll get prompted uh prompt with a thank you gives me chills every time I watch that so here we go we have just your little basic little front-end installer with the nice uh, Amy kit logo here the cat's eye so we're just gonna go ahead and hit next okay now it will by default want to put it in C program files x86 Amy kit XE you can leave it there I'm gonna leave mine there hit next ready to install go ahead and hit the install now it installs some pre pre uh, software and extract from the file archive that's inside of it so you just go ahead and you just sit back and let it do it let it let it do its thing and it doesn't take that long it's just a you know a brief moment here you know a minute or two depending on how fast your machine is it might run a little faster and that's it it's done on that part now locate suitable ROMs on your disk yes you can check mark what's new and it will show you what is all new that's in the package and download required Picasso 96 2.0. Now this is a 2.0 edition that is uh, that's autom that's pre-installed for you. You don't have to do anything. It will take care of it. Go ahead and hit finish. Now we're going to find our ROM. This program searches your hard disk for a suitable ROM. Amy Kit needs a ROM version 3.1 file. Okay, so I'm going to look for my ROMs. I'm going to hit the three little dots there and my system is automatically defaulting where my kickstart roms were because i've already went through this so i'm going ahead and just select folders see i'm gonna i'm gonna back up just a little bit and show y'all what i did see i've got a directory called amiga kickstart roms and i'm just going to click on that and i'm just going to select that folder all right and i'm going to tell it to search see it went ahead and searched and found me the best 3.1 rom for a 1200 
Okay, so we're going to go with that. We're going to set us up a little 1200 install here. So let's just go ahead. Go ahead and hit install. And that's it. It was that fast. So let's go over here. If you noticed right here, we have an Amy kit XE icon. So go ahead and double click on that. And we're going to hit launch. Once you hit launch, give it a second. It'll come on up and you'll be presented with this nice screen. Welcome to Amy Kit XE. First all, Amy Kit requires a Picasso 96 graphics driver, Picasso 96 LHA archive fount, and the rabbit hole installing. Press enter to continue. Now, let's import the operating system. Now, what Amiga Kit XE does is import an operating system from Amiga OS XL, Amiga OS 3.9, all editions, Amiga OS 3.5, Amiga OS 3.1, the latest Amiga operating system. So if you would like to install and make an install from 3.14, there you go. I'm going to be doing mine from 3.9. You can do it from the Amiga Forever ISO slash CD, Amiga Forever installed. Amiga OS 3.1 from Amiga OS 4.1 Final Edition CD. So you've got lots of choices. If you don't have any of these, you can't go no further. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and do 3.9. Now, the team at Amiga Kit XE made this part a lot simpler. To, ins to insert an ISO or zip file, you can install from a zip file. Press F12, basically to get out of the WinUAE Backbone Emulator. For ISO images, please click Select Image File button. For Zip Archives, click Add Directory or Archive button. Then click Select Archive or Plain File button. Then locate the file, click Open and then click OK. Click the OK button to get back here and proceed. So it's actually very, very simple. It sounds like it's back and forth, but it really, really isn't. So what you'll need to do, like me, for me, this is for my setup. I'm going to hit F12, and you're going to be prompted with the WinUAE properties. Now it's going to, you're going to go down like it said. You're going to do, do like it said. Please click Select Image File. We're going to go down here to CD and Hard Drives. Select Image File right here. It's right here. All right. Then we're going to locate the CD that I want to, the ISO that I want to use. So I'm going to go to my my uh, extra drive, Banana Man, and I'm going to go find it. You might have yours placed in other places. That's perfectly fine. You can put it on the desktop. You can put it wherever. It just needs somewhere to get to it. And I keep all of my Amiga stuff kind of together in a, in a hard drive that I call Banana Man. You can call yours whatever you want. So... I'm going to go through and I'm going to go to my Amiga emu, uh, emulation section and I'm going to find my Amiga OS packs and this is where I have all of my ISOs and stuff so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to find OS 3.9 Amiga because I'm going to use the 3.9 okay you can use 3.14 but I'm using the 3.9 up to you so I'm going to click the OS 3.9 image I'm going to go into there and there is my image. There's my OS 3.9 image right there. Yours might be named ISO, whatever. Mine is a CCD. And it understands that. When UAE understands that. So it's all good. All right. Then once you're done with that, you're going to hit OK. Now, insert select CD or ISO zip accordingly in the instructions below, above. Press Enter when ready. So I'm going to move this window right out of the way a little bit. Press any key when ready. Boom. It's going to check that CD. It's going to sit back and relax a while while we work our magic. Well, you don't get to relax very long because the magic is over with real quick. Okay, almost done. Let's select your screen mode. Amy Kid is HD ready, 720p by default. Therefore, select UAE... 1366 by 768 32-bit or 1280 by 800 32-bit are similar modes. You can switch to full screen or any other resolution later with Morpheus Z tool. That's inside of the Amy kit. You'll see later on.
Okay, press enter when ready to reboot. So we're going to press enter. And it's going to reboot. Select and save UAE 1366 or similar modes for now. Really? Yes. What we really need to do is, is I need to find a mode that is compatible with the screen mode that I'm using. For this tutorial, I use 1280 by 720. Make sure it's set to auto scroll. We can test it. It's going to make it a little big. It's all right. It's going to make it a little big. It's all right. It looks fine to me. Okay. We're going to save that. Get ready to be amazed. Now, if you select a screen mode that is exactly matched, your desktop is recommended to switch Amy Kit to full screen mode or full window mode now. To do so, press F12 and select display settings and change native to RTG. Okay, you need to stop right here. Stop right here. If you don't want it in window mode and you want it in full screen like I do, so select F12, go over here to display, change it from full screen, 1280720, windowed, full screen, RTG, full screen. Hit OK. And that will flip your screen. It's going to flip your screen. It's OK. It's OK. Go ahead and hit Enter. It will reboot. And here comes Amy kit it should better there it is there it is kind of snuck up and got me so um, I'm running I'm running capturing software I'm running a desktop running Windows and I just installed Amy kit so yeah it took it just for a second there you go let's go ahead and reboot let's go ahead and reboot one more time Make sure that our screen is looking good. Boy, that was quick, wasn't it? That was a quick reboot. Okay. Now, here you are. You're presented with Amy Kit. This is Amy Kit right here, y'all. Look at this. Fantastic. Here is my uh, Windows uh, WinDHC. That's my actual C directory from my Windows. Uh, we're running this uh, little retro theme that they've got going on. Uh, looks like uh, Amiga OS 1.2. That's <laughs> very, very old. Uh, kind of gives you that retro feel. I'll explain Rabbit Hole in a minute and Dropbox here in a minute. But uh, just take a look at that, man. That desktop is just amazing. Menus are transparent. Looks good feels good man this is fast this is real fast i have a total of 373 megs of fast memory going on here eight megs of chip uh, no native amiga has eight megs of chip and we're running on uh win ue uh graphics mode so we have a nice nice chunk of memory for graphics alone uh, let's open up some of these folders and just take a peek look at that oh that's just fast See how fast that is? And that's my storage hard drive right there. Mm, it's adjusting to all of the um, Windows files and stuff, so it's making default icons look good for them. Even when I open up my Windows C folder, it just it just looks good. There's the Amy Kit folder. So I'm able to access my PC drives through Amy Kit. It's default. It's built into it. So it's, it's real easy. You still have your standard RAM drive, just like on normal Amiga systems. But this is just, just as amazing. Now, here's one thing I like to do. Um, it's entirely up to you. I still have my Amiga OS uh, 3.9 CD up there. Well, let's get rid of that for just a second. So if you got yours booted up and you still have your CD sitting there, let's go to F12. Let's go to F12. See, your WinUAE uh, pops up here. And if you're familiar with WinUAE, um, if you're not, go back and look at some of my other tutorials. And uh, it'll explain everything. But let's go and unmount that CD-ROM drive. 
there we go see and it's gone let's clean up the uh let's clean up the desktop but before we do that before we clean up the desktop I like to I like to change some things just a little bit. It's entirely up to you. Entirely up to you. Um, I like to. I'm not a big fan of dopus. I know, I know. Some people, ooh, boo! I'm probably getting some boos. I understand. Dopus is awesome. I just never got into the intuition of it. Um, I like good old workbench. Just just good old workbench. So it's going to apply these systems, and it wants me to reboot. Changes have been applied. Finish all disk activity before we proceed. Yep. I want to go ahead and reboot. And now we have your just your standard workbench. Another thing I like to do when I'm doing my emulation is I like to change my magic menu prefs just a little bit. I can go to WB Startup, and I can go to magic menus right there. Now, I like to make my magic menus sticky mouse buttons. And so they when I like when I hit use, they pop up and stay where I can where I can uh drag across. I can click one time and pull it across and that's it. Kind of kind of saves an extra click if you know what I mean. So, me I'm I remember, I remember Amiga OS. Uh, my first Amiga OS was 1.2 on a uh, 1000. So, and when I quickly moved to 1.3, um, yeah, I just, I mean, that was back in the days. That intuition, retro throwback, uh, it's all good and everything. But I like something a little modern. So let's go to, let's go to retro switch. Mm, no thanks. Mm, let's see, desktop replacement. No, no. Where's the themes? What do I do with the themes? Visual press. Ah, here we go. Let's try. Let's try. Extra themes not found. Okay, I've got my extra themes. Desktop elements dark Ooh, I like that. I like that. Let's go with that. Got to do a reboot and we're back. Let's check out input. See how our mouse is. See if our mouse is accelerated. Woo! Boy, that mouse is fast. That's too slow. Okay, that's better. I like that. Let's go with that. Okay, there's all kinds of things that you can play with in here. We have sound uh, adjustments that you can make. Let's see if we can make a... Yeah. Little system beeps. You have all kinds of things you can do here. Pop-up menus. Colors, borders. Magic menu pixels. Yeah. Yeah. We have all kinds of things we can do here. Cache CDFS for CD support. Reaction. Yeah. Fallback font. Hmm. You can change your fall fallback font font. Let's go to WB Pattern. Let's see here. Let's find us a backdrop. I got to do this right off the bat. No offense to uh, Amy Kit. I love the tiger and the whole uh, cat theme and everything. Let's see what I can find here. You see how quick it is? It's pretty quick. see what this looks like let's test this oh that's the wrong one let's find the right one ah 
There we go. Hmm. Look at that. Real nice. Let's see, what else can we find here? Uh, magic menus, preps. There we go. Colors. Hmm. Select background, bright edge, dark edge, background, text. There we go. Yay. Yay. Ooh, got a little too dark. But it looks good over there. So let's check out a few more things here show you what else is inside of Amy kit uh, definitely one thing I want to tell you about is rabbit hole rabbit hole is a rabbit hole it's it's basically it tunnels through to your OS and if you have any of these applications installed on your Windows machine you can click on it and it will automatically launch that application from WinUAE, from AmyKit XE to your Windows and brings it forward so you can, um, you know, transparently use these applications. Now, there's some default ones here. Uh, it's also on the toolbar down here on the bottom. And you can click on Rabbit Hole and like Chrome. And I, I've got Chrome installed on my Windows. So if I clicked on Chrome, it will take me to Chrome and it will launch my Chrome so I can go anywhere I want to and I can search and go to anything that I want and then with just a click of a mouse button you're back on the Amiga side so that's pretty neat if you have a Dropbox account you can use the Dropbox application and set up Dropbox. Um, you have a cache icon. You have Morpheus again. You have, oh, if you want to do shell stuff, you know, by all means. It's all right here. Acts and works just like a real Amiga. I mean, there you go. I mean, you can do anything you want. Um, other than that, it's sky's the limit. It's up to you. If you want to go directly to AmyNet, you can click on this right here, and it will take you directly to AmyNet. Check out the games. Got quite a few uh, games That's installed so for you. There you go, got cool a couple of cool little games. Um, let's see, internet. We have thought I had an FTP thing in here somewhere. There's torrent. So if you into doing torrents, there's a torrent program default in there. Dizzy torrent. Um, you've got a Merc, good old a Merc, Mega Trade Center, so you can uh, do some Amy netting, Amy Trade Centering. 
Uh, let's see. Wookie Chat. Got AWeb, Eyebrows, and good old NetSurf. And let's see. Let's go to Amy Kit. Go to the forums. And there's Amy Kit forums right there. So you can you can pretty much do anything you want to do with your Amy Kit, just like a real Amiga, just in a different in a different light and in a different look. So by all means, check it out, download it, play with it, enjoy it, do what you want to do with it. Have fun. I highly recommend Amy Kit XE to you, to all of your friends, and go check it out. It's 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 fun and it's easy.